action and welcome as they make their way to the Cage Warriors Cage. These two men fighting with the 185 pound weight limit. Introducing first, please welcome, fighting from Belfast, Northern Ireland by way of Poland, Masek Magic Man Javaski. And we continue with the middleweight division, Josh Masek, the Magic Man Javaski making his way to the Cage Warriors Cage. Perfect so far in his career. Two wins, no losses, and two finishes. Certainly a man known for getting the business done early. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, two first round finishes. Uh, you can't really start off a career better than that, you know? They both come this year as well, so, you know, still relatively fresh and, and coming into it, but, you know, what a stage for him. And he's got a, a good test tonight to just try and take that record of 3 0. Fighting out of uh, Kyojin MMA in Belfast, but he, uh, he does appear to have uh, Andy Ryan of Team Rhino in his corner. No, that landing some expert advice, as we already spoke about this evening, Josh. Team Rhino have uh, offered up their fair share of hard as nails. A uh, young man on the Cage Warriors cards in the past. But he's facing an undefeated opponent himself, so it's the old cliche of someone's arm has to go. Yeah, we last saw him at Cage Warriors 81. Uh, took out Romain Bidet uh, there in that, in that match. But, as you say, a fast starter. I mean, you know, you, you never really know what's going to happen if they have to go deep. And the question is, you know, can, uh, can Marcus Paul take him there? You know, his win is by submission, as we'll talk about in a minute. But it's a different ball game against a guy who can strike like this. And now, please welcome his opponent this evening. Tonight, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from London. In England, it's Marcus Thunder Paul. And here we have the similarly undefeated Marcus Thunder Paul. 30 years old, so just one year the junior of Kajewski. And Josh, as you say, one win on his record, one win by submission. But at this early stage in their careers, does that really tell us much? No, it, it doesn't, you know, at a certain point we kind of have to go by the type of fighters that the, the teams these guys compete for turn out for some sort of guidance as to how that might work. Now, obviously that's, you know, that's not a uh, tried and true recipe because everybody has individual variations, but, you know, Marcus coming out of Team Titan, see Brad Pickett and, and Ashley Grimshaw in the corner there, we can expect his wrestling to be top notch. We can expect the striking combinations to come with those to be top notch. And again, it's a bit of a cliche, but they sure do breed them tough at Team Titan. Anyone graduating from that school of mixed martial arts is certainly going to be more than capable of handling themselves in the Cage Warriors cage. Yeah, you know what? To get through the striking of uh, Kazuski, he's going to have to really change level, penetrate fast, and we know that the Titan guys can do that. They can really get in and get the wrestling working and combine it together. That's probably going to be his key to victory here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is three rounds in the Cage Warriors middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a BJJ and white tie fighter with an unbeaten professional record of two wins, no losses. He stands five feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 182 pounds, fighting out of Belfast, Northern Ireland, by way of Poland, Masek, Magic Man, Jabeski. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist with a professional record of one win, no losses. Standing six feet tall, he weighed 184.5 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Marcus Thunder Paul. And when the action begins, the referee in charge, Rich Mitchell. Referee Rich Mitchell about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds if they need them in the Cage Warriors middleweight division. I'm ready, ready. Masek Javeski in the black with red and grey trim. Marcus Paul in the blue tie shorts. Marcus Paul fainting those shots early. Really carrying it. The southpaw stance is obviously something for Javeski to think about as well. James, be, be careful with those fingers, outside, please. You see early, he let Gavaisky get to the outside of that lead leg. And as we just heard the referee 
brief reward. Marcus Paul for leading with the, the fingers out. Of course, recent changes to the unified rules that the use, rules we use here at Cage Warriors forbid fighters from leading with an open palm. They have to leave with a close fist. The question was, could Marcus Paul get the takedown? And you know what? It, it wasn't the most eloquent shot from him. It was a little bit hesitant to try and come through the striking, but he completed very nicely against the cage, and he's looking to play a very smothering type of passing game here. And we see pinning and just looking to step over. He's going to keep those hips very low. You see them sink down. He's probably going to look to turn face down the hips, possibly. Give his man no room to move on top there is Marcus Paul. Yeah, Paul's won the battle for that, that underhook with his left arm, and there you see the turn down, immediately moving to mount. And this is a bad position for Gervaisky to be in. Yeah, his previous his submission win was by arm triangle, which is one of the few submissions you can very easily set up from mount whilst maintaining the position. And he's going to try and take the back here. Gervaisky's yeah. got to put that cage between himself and his, his opponent, which you see him doing now. He's going to look to scrape him off the cage and hopefully try and stand back up. And you see the corner of Gervaisky asking for the back on the cage there. Stay away from the back of his head. Yeah, I mean, he's got to turn and rotate his body to the right. Uh, he almost gave his back there. And he's got to be careful. He's letting Paul behind him here. Paul looking to backpack his man up against the cage here. Ooh, good just take him off balance. Good keep to off balance his opponent, get the second standing body triangle. This is a horrible position for the uh, simply just trying to slam your opponent down it really is a hail mary yeah there's there's i mean i'd love to get you know tell you guys how to escape this but the reality is that when you're in that situation it went wrong a very long time ago a big submission win for marcus paul we'll throw it to andy friedlanger to make the official ladies and gentlemen referee rich mitchell calls a stop to this contest at two minutes and 19 seconds of round number one declaring the winner by submission via rear naked choke marcus thunder paul uh, marcus thunder paul improves his record to two and l both submissions certainly looks like he has a very bright future in the sport of mixed martial arts, he'll join Andy Friedlander for a few words in the cage. Congratulations, Marcus. You have wrestling pedigree at your gym. You were always going to try and use that to get the finish, and so you did. Yep. I'm out of breath, bro. You take a breath. We're going to try and get you a replay of that beautiful finish. Um, in terms of your weight, you moved from welter to middle to take this. Um, has that been any challenge at all for you, or was it just it was a fight on a big card, you wanted it? Yeah, yeah it was a, more of a challenge because I had to spar with the bigger guys at the gym, obviously. And uh, you know how it is. We've got big guys in the gym like Bolo Omrielli punching my head every fucking week, so... Yeah. Well, you can take another little bit of a breath before we ask you something else. Just have a check on the big screen there. Uh, you can see, in fact, if you look to the left on that screen, you've managed to take his back. You're heavy on him. I think he had no option there but just to try and throw you down to get you off. But he tapped quickly. It was in nice and tight. You must be satisfied. Yeah, I kind of knew it was going to go that way, to be honest. <laughs> I knew he was going to give me his back at one point because of my heavy pressure. And obviously, I finished it. 
we were working it in the back as well. So Now, because you finished him early, we have got a bit of time to chat. I want to talk about starting off. You're a southpaw, you're awkward. Um, are you getting really good stand-up sparring? I'm not actually a southpaw. I just thought I'd come to this fight southpaw against him. Because <laughs> I didn't know nothing about him. So, yeah. And just briefly tell us, you got the man in the hat in the corner, you got the man with the beautiful flip-flops next to him, Ashley and Bradley, no strangers, of course, to fighting and wrestling. Your ground game must give you super confidence. Yeah, I couldn't have done it without them, man. Thanks to Ashley, Brad, Mickey, pushing me in the camp, pushing my mind. Dominic Knight, my mind coach, uh, God sent to me, honestly. Um, just thanks, guys. And just finally, on your ambitions, it's 2-0 and now on your record. We've got a busy schedule. You're looking to squeeze another bout in before the end of the year. Yeah, well, wait, though. <laughs> He's back to welterweight. Congratulations, 2-0. and Marcus.